Why, hello there, friends. First of all, I am Groot, you are Groot, and we are Groot together. I am Groot! I am Steve Rogers. Second of all, you likely came here because you wanted to know how to show off your six pack, how to get a six pack, how to train your abs properly. Should you even train your abs? Anyway, I'm gonna let you know three reasons why you should train your abs, as well as one reason why you might not want to train your abs. I would like to think that I have a decent set of abdominals, and therefore I am an authority on abdominal training to some extent. Reason number one that you should be training your abs is that it's exercise. I like to encourage all forms of exercise, and abdominal training is no exception to that rule. As a matter of fact, I regularly train abs. You putting forth the effort into an ab workout for part of your day is you putting forth effort into your health, into your body, into your overall physical well-being. And abdominal training can help you in other areas of your workouts as well. It's great for posture, it's great for balance, it's great for flexibility. Reason number two that you should train your abs is, of course, when you train a muscle properly, the muscle, it's gonna grow, it's gonna develop, it's gonna get bigger. So if you're somebody who has a hard time dieting down to lower levels of body fat, abdominal training might help you get that six pack to show at higher levels of body fat. And reason number three is ab training is just cool. I don't know, there's a lot of different exercises you can do that just look really cool. They're fun to do. And fitness, for me anyway, a large, large, large part of it is the fun aspect of it. I think fitness is fun. When I work out, I feel like I'm a kid again playing on a playground. And that might sound a little bit odd, but think about it really hard and you might know what I mean. Okay, so I told you the three reasons why I think you should train abs. Now I'm gonna tell you the one reason why you might not wanna train abs. And it's not even something that may make it so you don't wanna train your abs, but there are instances where it may be more of a waste of time. If you are somebody who is desperate for a six pack, the most important part for getting visible abdominals is your body fat level. Have you heard the saying that abs are built in the kitchen? Well, it's kind of true because depending on how much you eat in a day, calories in versus calories out, what your cardio is like, what your energy expenditure is like, your body fat has got to be in check or your abs are probably not going to show. Going back to one of my previous points about why you should train your abs, yes, it will make the abs bigger if you train them properly, but even still, if you have a, a good layer of body fat over them, they're not going to show. So there you have it, to train abs or to not train abs. I definitely recommend that everybody train abs, but of course there are some slight exceptions to that rule. It might be a waste of time for some people. You do get a lot of abdominal and core work and other exercises, a lot of um, compound movements in particular, like deadlifts and squats and things like that. They'll definitely target your core quite a bit. But again, it never hurts to hit a little bit of abdominal specific exercises. Thank you so much again for watching my video. Say hi to my doggy bogey. Anyway, one more thing I wanted to mention is if you are the kind of person who does want to train their abdominal muscles, I do have many free workouts as well as many free cardio workouts that can also help you lean down so you can actually show off those abdominal muscles. Look at that neck vein. Scott Herman, get on my level, right? No, I'm just kidding. Anyway, thanks again for watching. Please like and subscribe. Do all the things that might help this channel grow because it would be greatly appreciated. One more time, thanks for watching. Hopefully I'll see you again real soon.